Good morning and welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. Today we're back on the ditch witch, actually. I have an underground plumbing job to do where I gotta lay some three inch for a septic. And the chain that's on this makes a four inch trench. See the piping's about three and a half anyway, so a half inch on the ditch. Probably not going to be a fun job, especially when you throw some couplings in that are close to four inch. I don't want to have to ram this pipe in the hole. So I do have another chain that came with this thing, and it's got these spacer blocks on it here. And they will bring us up to like a six inch wide trench, which is probably appropriate for three inch pipe. All right, so I did count the links. They all have 34 links, both chains. So this one should fit. But I don't see a master link on this chain, so we're gonna have to cut a rivet. Since this tooth has a broken bolt anyway, I guess we'll start here. All these rivets are the same, except for this one. So we're gonna call that one our master. Watch your toes. This adjuster's been seized since I got this machine. I never had to deal with it with the old chain, but now we're gonna have to deal with it. Wow. And she's angry about something. She takes grease and comes out the threads. So something else is going on here, I think. I doubt the thing's seized on the arm, but it could be. We could also try to get a port of power in here to stretch it.
think we're getting some movement. Don't know why it's got to be so difficult, but she is for whatever reason. We're getting some easier movement after beating it leads me to believe that the the boom is seized on the stub. We'll get it. Can look at a parts machine over here to see what we're looking at. Basically, that boom just slides over this like two by two solid stock. The bolt pushes right in the end of it. So if the bolt's not seized, that means our boom is actually stuck on this. And I believe these are the clamp bolts, which I have loose. So it must just be corroded on there. It seemed like hammering on it. This turned another half turn without too much effort. So I'll keep beating it until she's going. All right, painstaking eighth of a turn at a time. The chain looks better. Now, I got to run to the hardware store. We're going to pick up what we need to fix this chain up because it's got some teeth that are knocked off. Things like that. We're going to run this thing. It's going to loosen up. I'll have to adjust it again. She got some tight spots. Looks like I got two bad teeth on this chain, but it's not bad. It's just I gotta cut these bolts out, put new bolts in. This one took a blow and she's loose. And one of these other ones is flipped around. We'll have to find it. Yeah, these carbide rock teeth are not cheap, so you don't want to lose them. So if you catch them before they're off, 
you're good. I think this chain's good now. You can see it got a lot sloppier, so we're gonna have to adjust it again. But we're getting there. I'm going to say this thing's ready. Chain's all fixed up. All the loose, loose teeth are taken care of. And we got the tension pretty close. You can see there's still tight links in here. So this is going to free up over time. So I'm running it a little tighter than I normally would. But I think she's ready for my October septic trenching project. So I'm going to check the oil, throw it on the trailer, get it down to West Virginia. And it'll be ready for me in the fall when we get back to it. Could have went worse, could have went better. All right guys, gonna wrap this one up here. Ditch Witch is ready to rip. We got the six inch chain on it now. Should be perfect for some underground septic work. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. See you next time on Spank Ranch Garage.